Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go over some trick tips in Skater XL. This video will be a good beginner's guide. If you don't have the game yet, if you're thinking about getting in the game when it comes out, if you're looking to get it on console without mods, I and mean, also people that just got the game and are trying to, you know, work on their bag of tricks may help you out there as well. All right, so probably the very number one most common trick request I get is blunt slides. How to blunt slide. I cannot blunt slide. But I'll give you a trick right now to help you learn it very, very quickly. And we're going to learn on a flat ground. I'll give you guys two different ways to learn blunts. And this is the way I would recommend to learn it. So learn it on flat ground first. So just learn power slides. So sticks all the way in facing each other or sticks all the way outwards for a power slide, right? When you're doing the power slide, you can adjust the sticks and move it around to do some, do some funky stuff. So I can start moving the sticks around to raise and lower my nose and tail. Right? So what you want to do is practice that. But find the position on your controller where you can actually raise the tail or nose, whatever blunt you want to do. Say you want to do a, um, a backside nose blunt. So I'm going to be working on my backside power slides, right? Like this. And I'm, I'm going to try to adjust my controller to get my truck up off the ground so I'm sliding on my nose. So here's a power slide. And I'll adjust my trucks and now I'm sliding on the nose. If I did that same control scheme on a ledge, that would be a blunt slide. And you can even practice on the on flat ground so you can, you can ollie into those blunts. If you know that, what the position is, you can start ollieing into them. And messing around, you know, maybe coming up to fakey too. Hold hold the trigger the whole entire time, come up to fakey. So what you can do with that is go to a ledge, line it up, and f and do that power slide motion that you just learned. Very, very simple. It's literally just a matter of turning your body and pointing it up or down. You can do it uh, for any kind of blunt. You'll find if you do it that way, it's really easy to turn out. But there's also another way to do blunts. This is how I learned how to do it because I found that was kind of hard. Sometimes when you do this, when you turn your body, you'll notice that you actually you flip your board. You'll do some weird stuff that you don't mean to do. It's because you're not used to the muscle. You don't have the muscle memory down yet. Try slow movements. Try to move very, very gently until you can move a lot. Because if you just try to huck your guy sideways, he's going to be doing uh, doing stuff like that. So try to do it gently until you can get it. One of the easiest ways to learn, I think, would be with the triggers. So if you just want to do a blunt and not worry about style or anything. So the first thing I did was go up and turn my body 90 degrees. When you go to a ledge, you can go all the way up, turn your body 90 degrees, like a, like a board slide, right? Like turn your body completely 90 degrees. And all you have to do is slam down on the on the tail with your trigger or your sticks. Let's see my controller. He's ready for an ollie. That's what a blunt looks like. In the, so when I do a blunt, my my skateboard would be facing like that. So I would just go up, hold the trigger, which turns me 90 degrees, and press down. And that's that's the probably the easiest way to do a blunt. Or holding up, whatever you want. The up one is a little bit harder. Actually, maybe not. I, I learned nose buns first, honestly. Like, ollie, press all the way forward to dip your nose down, and turn 90 degrees. That's a nose blunt. You can, you can learn it that way. Quite easily. Another common question is how do you pop out a grinds without actually popping? Keep in mind that for this, for doing this, you have to be on the beta version of Skater XL and whatever whatever stick you click determines the direction of which you pop out. So when I'm doing a crooked grind right here and I click the right stick when I'm in the grind, I'll fall out to the right side. You can, you know, turn out 180s as well. You simply just press the stick down and you can, you can roll out of a grind. Like this game, guys, this game is not easy. Skater XL is not an easy game. I know when you watch videos and stuff, it looks easy, but this game is not very forgiving. It's pretty tough. This right here, this very trick took me hours to do it for the first time. It took me weeks and weeks to do it consistently. I'm talking about over a hundred hours, a long time. And what I'm talking about is manual pivots. See, I can't even do it. That, that right there, this little thing right here, going from this manual to that manual without touching the ground, which I seem to almost do or I kind of did. 
that is the hardest thing to do in the game. Uh, that is very, very hard. And don't get frustrated if you can't do it because it took me a long time and I still can't do it every direction very consistently. I can only do it that one way really good. So this is what you do. This is where people mess up. For manual pivots, you have to use two sticks. That's the first tip. You can't manual pivot with one stick. If I hold a nose manual and try to pivot, you can't, you can't do it. There's no, there's no way to turn. Basically what you have to do is a, a power slide. And power slides require two sticks. So going back to the blunt thing, what we learned with blunts, right? Turning the power slide and being on your nose for a manual pivot is the same thing as that, except for, instead of pressing your nose all the way down, you only want to press your nose down enough so you can turn. If you see that there, like the very the first pivot that I did. So here's a blunt where my nose was basically pressed all the way down. But you want to practice and find a position where you can power slide and not press your nose down, right? So this is how, this is how you do the pivot. You have your tail in the air, you have your nose off the ground. So this is you're still in manual. And the next step, I'm going to show you how to get the full rotation around. So if you do this and you're power sliding, just hold the trigger and you'll you'll go to fakie. Right. Uh, and learn, learn how to do it quickly. Learn as quick as possible, even even ollie into it. You can you can ollie into that if you want to. And trust me, guys, I know that looks easy. That is not easy to do. So the next step, essentially, after you have the bat down, being able to, uh, you know, have your nose and tail kind of at the right position, we're going to combine that with the manual. So when you're in a nose manual and to do the, the pivot part, you have to use two sticks. So when you do a nose manual, I'm pressing both sticks upward because when I'm, when I'm going to turn, I'm going to press my sticks inward like that. Okay. So it's a combination of a nose manual with two sticks. Then I'm going to do a power slide with the right trigger. So when I power slide, I'm going to go to fakie with the nose manual. So the faster you go, the easier it'll, it'll be, by the way, if you go slow, it'll be very hard to turn it. If you go fast, it'll be very easy to turn pivot. So here we go. Two sticks forward. I'm going to hold the right trigger. So I, I turn to the right power slide and notice how I let the sticks go right on, on the left there. If you watch that slowly, I had both sticks upward. I did a power slide. I let the sticks go right when I right when I got all the way around. I had to let the power slide go. I'll show you what happens if I don't. He'll, he'll try to keep turning, right? So by the time you complete the rotation, let the let the power slide go with the with the back foot and continue doing your nose manual with the other stick. Instead of just doing a pivot like that, you can pivot on your nose. See how I did a the first one was on a watch the first one. I did a revert on the ground, but with the with the manual pivots, I can three flip, catch it on the nose like that. That was kind of sketchy, but you know, manual pivots and blunt slides go hand in hand. I, I recommend learning both together at the same time. Going, going flat ground, work on work on your uh, power slides and work on uh, work on like your blunt slides on the ground. And this is this is how you will learn manual pivots and stuff. And also hold the trigger, hold the trigger, spin around, you know, find, find, uh, get used to the, the, the controls and just work with that. Uh, the next part is grabs. You guys might know how to do grabs. It's pretty common knowledge. You just, uh, you know, hold the right button or left button. But one thing you might not know about is if you actually steeze your body out in the air, you can do different grabs. If you turn your body in the air and then do a grab, so watch this. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn my body with my with my sticks to the left, and then and then use my left button. Watch. Came in. It it is hard to turn yourself like that. Did you see that? I turned my board, and I don't have I'm a, I don't have a lot of air here because I'm not on a vert ramp. But you know, if I turn my body. Well, and press that left button. He actually reaches across with his left hand and that should have been a mute grab. So if I turn the board first and then grab with the opposite hand, he will reach down with the, uh, that hand and do a mute. If I do the same thing with the other, with the other stick, I could do a stale fish. So I popped 
I turned my guy's body to the left like this. I pressed my right button to get my right hand to grab. And he reached right behind himself to do the stale fish. I know, I know he's going through his body. Like there, are, there are bugs with the animations. He's, he can do a lot of, a lot more tricks by doing that. Looks like, looks like that. If I turn my body to the left or the right, you can do a steezed indie. Unfortunately, you can't grab, grab through the legs. There's, there are a bunch of grabs you can't do. Uh, with the Da Vinci mod, you can also do uh, the one foots and stuff. So I have it set up for Benihana's and you could do Benihana's and Christ Dares, Madonna's and, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff. There's a bunch of grabs you could do. All right, so this is what you guys will probably look like. You have a hat on, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to back out, go to my monitor capture because this is what I'm going to do. I'm wearing this GX1000 hat in the game. I'm going to press Alt, Tab, get out of the game. I'm, I'm still have, I still have the game open, right? In the background, game's still open. Go to your documents, Gator XL, like go find that hat. Go to your gear, um, wherever that hat is. So here it is, M Hat Dad GX1000. I'm going to rename this hat. Just, uh, I'm gonna take a ticket one letter and that's it. So I'm gonna go into my edit skater and leave edit skater. And I have no hat on currently. The game thinks I'm wearing the GX1000 hat, but I renamed the file so it can't find it. After you enter edit skater and leave it, you should have no hat on. If you press H for the hair mod, um, go into your, your hair. There you go. You can change the color of the hair and all that good stuff. You can put on dynamic hair, I believe too. If you want like that wave kind of flows around when you skate and stuff get that real skate flow so yeah you got the dynamic hair if you guys want it like spaghetti and the next thing you guys are gonna be, are gonna be stoked okay this is this is for everybody if you are watching this video and you didn't find the things useful before i think people watching this now will find this pretty pretty cool you can still make any map in the game nighttime i'll, I'll say that very loosely because you can't do every map uh there are certain maps like courthouse and older maps that won't completely turn nighttime you'll notice the trees and stuff won't change color so if you try this on a map and it doesn't work it's not because you're doing it wrong it's because that map is not allowing it to work there are only, there are only certain maps that it works on i'm at this map because i know it works very very well and watch what i'm gonna do okay there's a there's a workaround for it so i have the map editor mod by dog vinci we're going to be using the uh environmental settings to change the color of the map but the first thing i need to do this is the most important step it this will not work if i have babo turned on I need to, the first thing I need to do is press control F10, find Babo settings, turn it off so the status is grayed out. You press, press save. So now I can't open Babo, it's turned off completely. I can go into my map editor mod, go into extras, sign controller, and you can click all these things here. So remove HD or sky, light maps off, light probes off, reflections off, sun shadows off. You can turn on fog if you wanted to. Look, we have this uh, Silent Hill type vibe, very, you know, eerie. Not quite nighttime, but you, you can make, you can adjust this to whatever you want it to look like. And this works on a lot of maps. You can make it foggy, nighttime, daytime, Christmas time, whatever you want. So next thing I'm gonna do, the X axis, uh, 195. So if you guys wanna copy these settings, you can. Y axis doesn't matter too much, whatever. And that's basically it. So I made this map nighttime. Look, I'm in the dark and now it's going to be quite hard to escape, right? Almost impossible. So go to the map editor, props, lights. There's some courthouse lamps here I'm going to spawn in. All right. And that's, that's basically it guys. Like I just, uh, I just set the park up. Like, I mean, I made it dark, dark time. My bad was still turned off. So I haven't even touched the coloring yet, but look at this. I have the, I made the map nighttime. It's sick. Uh, I don't think anybody else in the game has played this map like this. I don't think, I think I'm the first person to even try this on this map. So like you can, you can like make maps exclusive to yourself. You can make stuff look, you know, very different. The only downfall to this is you can't save this. When I leave the map and come back, it won't save like this. So, you know, don't spend too long setting stuff up because it's not going to be there when you come back, but that is that. And after you're set up with lights, press control F10 again. You can turn Babo back on. It will work. Click save, close. There you go.
And now from here you can adjust stuff. So that's the that's the regular no babo. You can adjust it. So like color grading, aces, bloom. You know, adjust the lights to not look so bright. Shadows, a little bit of exposure. Maybe make it a little bit cooler because it's nighttime. Yeah, like that's that's basically it. I, I think I'm not sure if my camera light's broken. If you guys are finding that your camera light, oh there it is, it's working. But anyway. That's, that's that, guys. Usually at the night time, I keep my camera light behind me so I can see my guy when I go into dark areas. Like, if I go in here, I can still see my guy. My camera light is turned on so I can see him. I like to also uh, shout it to Alex Laska. That is the person who made this map. Camp and Isle Mall, Alex Laska. Alex put me in the map. I'm super stoked about this pit poster here. I had to make a little shrine of myself. Much thanks to Alex Laska. Sorry for, you know, messing up your, mar your map, but that's what you can do with the map editor, guys. I hope you like it. Keep in mind, it doesn't work on every single map. Yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully it made your game more enjoyable. And I will catch you next time. Peace.